so dear civil engineers now we'll go for slab design so first of all i'm going to show you that how we'll design a slab using edaps so after completing all of our analysis and completing everything i'll just go here concrete slab design and we'll check view preferences here everything is okay this is five and uh, everything is normally okay and from here you can change design code which code you want to use and you i'm going to use sci3 on 819 then okay after that again go here and here select design combinations from here i'm going to select all of our combination that is applicable for slab then okay now i'll go for select s 2 for design who is s 2 we want to design you have to select from here so suppose i want to design s 2 one i'll select that one and if you want to design all of s 2 at a time then you have to select all s 2 like that and simply click okay so i'm going to design only s 3 one then okay Now I'll click here, start design. Okay. okay done. So here I'll just go plan, then S3 one for that. Now we are getting result for slab finite element design, top river eccentricity. Okay, inches square per feet, direction one. Now they have issue which direction are one and which direction are two we have to find out that for that by selecting that side i'll go here display set display option click here and to go here from here shell assignment click here for local axis and then apply so just see the rate on the direction rate on are representing as direction one and the green on are representing as a direction two okay so here we're getting reinforcement for that direction now i'll go here display flag general design okay i'll click here and when we're here actually they have another option is cheap based method but as we didn't apply any strip that's why we'll go for finite element based method and i think this is best and i'll click here impose minimum reinforcing so as per code it will consider minimum reinforcing i'll click apply again okay now for duration one in whose direction it's uh, giving you the value for one i mean for top okay top this is the direction one here in that direction are representing as direction one sorry in that direction in that direction it's representing direction one here in that direction now If I take mouse here and just see they have no reinforcement requirement in our middle span almost it's zero that means we always know about that they have no reinforcement requirement here right at mid span but when we go that side then we need more reinforcement and also that side I mean at support we need more reinforcement so this is for top uh, direction one top river okay so if we go for top river this is for direction one i mean if i take a section here like that and if they have some column here so this value are giving as a top reinforcement like that 
I mean it will be applied as a top total requirement of top reinforcement so first of all it's better we'll go for bottom reinforcement first of all so for direction one I mean for that direction so uh, we're seeing for that slab this direction are shorter direction and we know the short duration reinforcement will be below then our long duration reinforcement so I think you all know about that so for duration on bottom river then click apply so here we're seeing that uh, in that side we need a uh, little bit reinforcement and here we need more reinforcement than that place so this is for uh, bottom river duration on bottom river i mean reinforcement in shorter direction so i will use that option typical uniform reinforcing specified below okay now i'll consider 10 mm bar for our side 10 mm bar for our bottom and i'll take 8 inch spacing and if i click apply just see it's almost okay everywhere except that point here we need huge reinforcement huge 0 0.9 to something so actually this is the magic of or this is the benefit of 111 based method it will give you actual requirement of your reinforcement everywhere see if i go for 12 inch suppose even for 12 inch here we need 0.0046 that means very little so if i only consider 10 i hope it will work just see at zero and everywhere almost and here we need some reinforcement but this is very less this is also almost zero so if we consider 8 inch spacing then here also zero okay <clears throat> but here we need some reinforcement so what we'll do what we'll do they have some actually why we need reinforcement here more reinforcement just see in that place our slab are working like that okay that's why here we need more reinforcement this is working as a corner of our slab and it's taking huge stiffness at the moment that's why we need more reinforcement however for that two place we'll take extra care and will uh, provide extra reinforcement to fulfill that uh, situation now i'll go for direction to bottom river for bottom river in that direction so you'll provide that reinforcement 10 mm reinforcement at 10 inch spacing in like that and what will be some reinforcement will be like that right you all know about that we have to make some crank reinforcement like that okay now i'll go here for bottom then again click apply so here uh, at bottom we have provided 10 mm bar 10 mm bar with 8 inch spacing so here almost everywhere at zero except that column support so if i go for six inch you see everywhere is okay but here we need some reinforcement extra reinforcement so in that column in that column here here and here we'll provide some extra reinforcement with our that requirement okay now we'll go for top so for top direction one uh, if we provide top reinforcement 10 mm reinforcement as 8 inch spacing then everywhere is okay except that support condition so in that support we have to take a special consideration and we'll take it okay and also top for duration to apply so this have same issue the same issue in support or in column area we have to provide more reinforcement than other place so here we'll provide some extra reinforcement and it will be okay actually uh, you have to take decision how you will design that and if you go for manual design process it's also okay okay 
so from our uh, by using excel sheet i will also show you that how we can use a excel sheet to design our slab so i'll close it and it's done our the detailing is okay okay so um, in this process you can design your slabs very easily and in our next lecture i'll show you that how we'll design our slab using a excel sheet and after that we'll go for a staircase design so thank you thank you very much